Ten years ago, we Blood Ravens destroyed the demon Alcair, ending his schemes to rot Subsector Aurelia into a festering hellscape. We thought our victory would mark the end of the war for the Sector. We were wrong. New demonic incursions relentlessly plagued her planets, Aurelia, Typhon, Calderas, and Meridian. In response, the Imperial Guard, the Hammer of the Emperor, was deployed en masse to the Sector, to secure her, to defend her. Yet the incursions only grew in number, and soon were worsened by insurrection and madness among the Guard's ranks. Now the Sector sits helpless, racked by constant, endless, unremitting war. We are Space Marines. We are the Blood Ravens. We would act, yet we too are locked in warfare with one another. As Araya Kairos, our Chapter Master and Chief Librarian, has declared the heroes of Aurelia to be renegades. Now we are hunted by our own brothers. Brothers unaware of the Chapter Master's secret allegiance to Alcare. A corrupt Space Marine Chapter Master. A militia crippled by disorder and turmoil. Demons. Renegades. A sector that knows only war. The Imperium has had enough. One solution remains for the sector. A solution with which I am all too familiar. The Ordo Malleus approaches the Holy Imperial Inquisition. Their colossal ships bear the munitions to perform exterminatus, cleansing every planet of the Sector of Life. Xenos and human, corrupt and innocent. But even now, an enemy once thought long vanquished is stirring. The worlds of Subsector Aurelia still bear the scars of the Tyranid invasion. The Hive Fleet was thought to be shattered, and the surviving beasts to be feral and unguided. And so they have been left to lurk in the dark corners of our worlds. As the Tyranid infection has recovered and grown, the Hive Mind has called to its lost children. A Hive Lord has awakened. It will answer the call. It will make clear the way, and it will prepare the feast. To great and away. We should have scoured this world of these things years ago. Now look at this mess. But far be it from me to question our great and wise leaders. I will pretend I didn't hear that, trooper. Speak like that around a commissar and see what happens. I was there when the Blood Ravens killed the Hive Fleet. If you're on your guard, these Tyranids are no more dangerous than Meridian Razor Slugs. Look! Ahead! What is that? Size of that one. Quickly bring it down. They're using cover. I thought they were supposed to be dumb beasts. Neat! The Hormigaut's close in, clawing your face off. Meanwhile, the Termagants sit back and shoot you to death. I... You 
hear that clicky clack sound? Oi! Gribbley's coming! Wah! Right side, off attack! What in the name of terror? Are we too late? Xenos filth! Come to me now! I have underestimated you. No more. I will end the blasphemy of your existence here and now! How can this be the end? These creatures are not simple beasts. I've commanded men for a century, achieved so much glory. Not like this. General Caster's forces were the first to fall to this new swarm, but they were not the last. Within hours, Millions of Tyranids burst from the jungle. Within days, every outpost was under attack. Instinctively, the Hive Lord was drawn to where resistance was strongest. Soon, Typhon would fall. that may be receiving. We're through with Imperial Command. If we have to fight, we're gonna do it for ourselves from now on. You wanna call that defection? Fine. We were dead men anyway. At least the cults promise something in return. This region is ours now. We see anyone, anyone within a mile of here, we'll bury them in ordnance. Don't doubt we can either. The regiment's holy armor isn't that particular about the holiness of them that drives it. Intruders! Oh hell, we've been found! All right, you fiends. I don't care who you are. Feel the might of the bean blade. <laughs> we heard out of the swamplands that the Nids had gotten smart enough to crush Caster. Let's see if you're smart enough to fall back from a bean blade. Take those targeting cogitators. The turrets could go haywire if a cogitator is destroyed. Ah, found ya. Demolish our cannon. Open fire! 
What do you mean we can't pursue any farther? We can't let them get away! They can't escape! There they are! This is it, you maggots! We'll bury you here! Reinforcements. Squad reinforcement complete. With the last flicker of resistance snuffed, the Hive Lord was no longer needed on Typhon. It was consigned to the digestion pools to be born anew elsewhere in the subsector. Every world of subsector Aurelia had been seeded with Tyranids, awaiting the call of the hive mind. Sergeant Lysandros, be advised. Enemy forces have been detected inside the settlement. Do not deviate from your mission. Our priority is to demolish every last structure in this miserable village. under fire. Our mission has been compromised. Stay calm, young brothers. I will deploy heavy support. It will arrive in moments and crush these worms. Supply depot it will. 
Don't let the enemy reach the supply depot. And protect the trucks. I don't care how many of your kids get smashed. I'm sending some boys ahead to loot and make sure there's no ambush. Send cans and then send boys. All kinds of boys. Drive slower, you break me bitch, he says. And don't forget to drive on the shiny bridges for good luck. Listen up, kids. Warboss Smashface says there will be fight night, and we need to get our key to the war. So just be sure to get enough trucks past the supply station for the war. What? There wasn't supposed to be any fighting while we was looting. The trucks are almost here. Ready them shooters, boys. Boss Smashface says we need to keep this way clear for him. Um, boss, they destroyed those shiny bridges you liked. What? Oh, you spread that be lying to me, boy. And you spread be dead before I get there, because I don't like being lied to. Now out of my way. Looks like I'm gonna do all the work myself. And when I'm done fighting, you're all getting your faces smashed. Here we go, boys. This is where they said the fighting was. <laughs> this is exciting. Can you feel it, boys? Oh, with all that fight, we lost all our gear! No, oh, it's gonna take a whole day to find all our gear again! You're all a bad Expand! Seek me! Entropy rather than our blades. The portal is under attack! To battle! Demons of Korn, come forth! A feast of skulls and blood awaits you! No! Blasphemous wretches! Brothers, after them! Do not let them escape! Accepting their munition drops, after all. 
They can box every minute until doomsday if they please. We will not respond. You have heard the whispers. You'll know Ol Ulk, the will, the voice. We are his now. He is here. Well, they have forsaken us. If they, if anybody wants these munitions, wants this meat, they must take it from us. Of course, of course, sir. For all care. Perimeter breach. Intruders at checkpoint Tertius. All forces to arms. Gun them down. Bring their flesh to the keep. All care shall feast this eve. You've allowed the invaders to remain breathing. They walk in the open, begging to be slaughtered! Manticore batteries, vengeance and justice, crush them beneath your rockets! This land shall feel my angriest touch. Am I not magnanimous? Urge these thoughtless hides. Damnation! Hostiles closing on the munitions cache. They must not take it. Yes! Yes! Come, unbelievers! All care welcomes all! Death comes for all! May... May my flesh fester... and rot... and give life anew... for Nurgle. Ah. Push them back! Do not let them gain a foothold on the spire! Pull back that Lehman Russ and regroup! 4th and 17th! I want an assault line of Bane Wolves pressing this position! They've broken our lines! 50! Open a box with air support and stand by. If they encroach the HQ, I want the sky to fall on them! Commencing bombing run, sir. Valkyrie is hot and on approach. Oh. Help us, Lord God. Priority Vox Channel Secondus. This is the Ascendant, Azariah Kairos. Marvelously done, Sergeant. Your slaughter of your own brothers in arms shall bring much favor from Korn. Without its center of administration, Meridian is as helpless as a babe set upon by wolves. Remain stationed there, and repel any invaders. Your reward for your faith shall be forthcoming. Skulls to Korn. Before any other, it was the hive mind that recognized the true extent of Azariah Kairos' threat to the subsector. Normally, an individual would go unnoticed. 
but Kyrus machinations somehow dulled and darkened the hive mind's awareness. The swarm understood. To consume the subsector, Kyrus, Malefactor, and Antithesis must be destroyed. After all, what? Well, keep them off the power nodes. Daisy ain't ready yet. Boy, who do you think you is stealing what we done rightfully stole? Boys, get in there and take that node back. You boys ain't got that node back yet. Fine, clear off. We just used the juice from the others to finish up. Boss, they got another power node! Oh, well, that's just greedy, that is! Oh, I'm sending in the big dacker to take it back! What? We still ain't got the power node back? Boys, they get back to Daisy Sharpish! Kick these thieving magpies off the last node! Ah, you want something stopped around here? You gotta stop it yourself! Time to meet Daisy! Whoa! Crush him under the death roller! Boss! The needle is pointing in the red! That ain't good! Course it's good, you squealing runt! Red goes faster! Whoa! Crush him under the death roller! Ah, oh, boss! I think we just hit something we weren't supposed to hit! That's crazy talk! There's nothing Daisy ain't supposed to hit! Yeah! Oh, me only regret is... Exploding! supposed to find us here? Warhost, hold fast! They must not disrupt the Seer Council. Still the invaders persist. 
My king, we shall strike them before vanishing. Prepare yourselves. As long as the Webway Gate remains concealed, we may call in help. Prepare for mass warp jump. I will move the Council to safety. Hold back the tide, brothers. Do not let these invaders find the Council again. of the Golden Throne. I declare exterminatus upon the Imperial world of Typhon Primaris. I hereby sign the death warrant of an entire world and consign a million souls to oblivion. May Imperial justice account in all balance. The Emperor protects. Must be magnificent to see a planet writhe and scream, to feel it convulse beneath your own feet, witness it dying with living eyes. In time, perhaps I may share this gift with every last living soul in the galaxy. Until then. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? You lowly vermin truly think to escape? Ungrateful scum, squandering Lord Karras' gift of a glorious death! Pay your penance in blood! Blood for the blood god! Skulls for the skull throne! None shall escape! None shall escape the sacrifice! It is human nature to seek culpability in a time of tragedy. It is a sign of strength to cry out against fate, rather than to bow one's head and succumb. Inevitably, many shall fault the hands upon the sword which felled Typhon, the Ordo Malleus. But the Inquisition merely performs the duty of its office. To further fear them is redundant. To hate them, heretical. Those more sensible will place responsibility with those who forced the hands of the Inquisition. 
with some fortune, they may foster this hatred into purpose and further rule their own fate by coming to the Emperor's service. Yet ultimately, it was I who set these events into motion with a single blow from my hammer, God Splitter. The brutality of the Exterminatus had shaken the Sector. The backlash had even disrupted the Hive Mind. It calmed first on the judgment of Carrion. The Hive Lord emerged, but it was not surrounded by kin. Contact with the Hive Mind was severed. The swarms in Subsector Aurelia would be rudderless if the Hive Lord could not renew contact. Deep within the Space Hulk, though, it sensed the solution, an unusually strong zoanthrope, which could pierce the psychic shroud cast over the Aurelian worlds. Hostile Xenos infiltration detected. Defensive compromise. Hostiles purged. Operations recommencing. Hostile bioforms approaching. Prepare defenses and pray for deliverance. Inbound hostiles. Attack imminent. They are here. The zoanthrope the Hive Lord sought was consumed. With it, contact with the Hive Mind and the approaching fleet was renewed. The shock of the Exterminatus had also revealed to the Hive Mind the true magnitude of the threat posed by Kairos. The realization triggered the spawning of one of the Tyranid's deadliest bioweapons, the Swarm Lord. Insidious and deadly, even among Hive Tyrants, an engine of martial devastation, psychic fury, and the deepest intellect. Ill tidings for the subsector, which hung ever more tenuously on the edge of oblivion. Have mercy, they're here! Lads, hurry! Get this thing moving! They're gonna slaughter us!
The Land Raider is lost. Disengage. Leave the cowards to their doom. no stranger to the deaths of planets. Cyrene was my home. Yet when the need was made evident, I did not hesitate to contact the Inquisition. By my hand, Cyrene burned. Cyrene's secrets now live solely with me, and so shall they die with me. 
Whether I'm victorious or slain, my sins will know retribution. Such is the final testimony of Gabriel Angelos, captain of the Blood Ravens, Third Company. Savior of Tartarus, Bane of the Black Legion, Servant of the Emperor. These many decades have been an honor, Gabriel. Commend my service to the Emperor. Emperor, keep you, Librarian. I go now to redeem our chapter. of demons to lie and mislead us. Destroying it is the only way to avoid its influences. Report 893880 of this lunar cycle. The final transmissions from Subsector Aurelia, filed 43.6 years ago. By order of the Holy Inquisition, Subsector sentenced to Exterminatus. Hive fleet emerges from all sides. Exterminatus fleet driven away. Defense attempted, but Imperial forces already crippled. Imperial guard losses reached 94% before forces withdrew. Surviving loyal Blood Ravens losses, total. They refused to retreat. <laughs> 